Okay, now we will for the CCE. Okay, select the CCE tab and enter the relevant data for the CCE experiment. Here, the liquid density and viscosity are of particular importance for the relative volume. It is the slope of the curve rather than the absolute values that is of greater importance since it is directly linked to the fluid compressibility. Okay, so the, the slope of the curve rather than the absolute values. Any data we are unlikely to use in any data we are unlikely to use in the regression, such as the relative volume of or a erroneous data can be excluded by selecting the relevant data points and then pressing call exclude. Okay, so this one, we will exclude this one. Additionally, we may wish to exclude some data point in order to speed up the regression. For example, not all points on the liquid density are required for the matching. Instead, sufficient points to recreate the profile should be used. Cells containing excluded data will be shaded gray. The process of deciding which data points to exclude can be aided by plotting the entered data as a function of pressure and temperature to identify the outlier or unphysical behavior, which can be accessed via plot. Okay, so for example, when plotting the liquid density and zooming in on the density profile above the bubble point pressure, it can be seen that the curve appears to be slightly kink near the bubble point. This one, kink here. See image below. This data point is best excluded to avoid the US fine tune to reproduce this density profile. For the CCE, we have excluded the relative volume, the second, third, fourth, sixth, eighth, tenth, twelfth, fourteenth, entry of the liquid viscosity and every second entry of the oil density. So they will be excluded. Okay, so let's go to the CCE. So this one is quite kink. Okay. Oh, sorry. 
So by the way, we can, oh, it should be relative volume instead, not liquid dropout. Okay. Variables, relative volume. Okay. Plotting against pressure or temperature. Relative volume. Viscosity. Okay. We can right click and click exclude. So in this case, as per the guideline, we will exclude all the relative volume. Exclude. Which oh, it's, it's not exclude row actually. Okay, so. Oh, it's not like that, by the way. So it's not, it will, I will include first. Include row, I should like this instead. Lock them, exclude. So it will be shaded gray. And then for the liquid viscosity and every second of the oil density, oil density, Exclude. Okay. And this one, the second, third, fourth, sixth, seven, eighth, tenth. Yeah, this to make the matching faster or calculation faster. Fourteenth. Exclude, so like this. Okay, so, yeah. So that's for CCE, so far so good. Now we go to differential liberation. 